Hello guys, Kelly here again from tanktime.co.uk and Kells Aquariums. Uh, this is a pond I look after, which is my Mars. Was my dad's before he passed. Um, as you can see, it's a bit grungy. Because when they've been building my pond, I haven't been around for the last uh, month or so. So I haven't really been cleaned enough. I mean, the water uh, chemistry is still firm, but the big filter was a bit clogged so I have, I'm just going to give you a bit of a tour and a bit of a talk of what I've done so these are just uh, sponges, uh, sponges, brushes like these so I've taken all them out and hosed them down you know because they're not all bacteria they just can be rinsed off that's the beauty of them they catch all the muck and then you can just hose them all off took them out and did it down here you can see all the muck I'll deal with that in a minute then you go into all these rings which are also just to catch muck So there's a full tub of that there. And then into some moss brushes, which then goes into some, if you can just see it under there, some sponges. And then under the sponges, there is loads more of this action. So there's plenty more of that to catch muck, because koi are a dirty fish. Then this, the next one along, you've got more of this stuff. And then into your K1 where your biologicals are. So it's like a trickle filter on a lot of these. And a bit moving. You get a little bit of moving bed. <laughs> Very little. <laughs> but yeah, so it's quite an easy uh, beast. Uh, if you plumb them right, they're very easy to deal with. Look, they've just got, you know, uh, an outflow for each of them. Well, say each of them. There's only four and there's five bays. One uh, does these two. You know, so it's basically two of these for the better sponges. One of them's that, but very easy to clean on the oil. And I'll do it again next week, or I'll have a look next week, and I'll show you the progress. But I bet in a week, maybe two at the most, that's back crystal clear, as it normally is. Surprising how quickly they can get dirty with, a, with three big koi. There's only three fish in it. So yeah, the beauty of that is that just goes right around the garden, out the gate and down the drain. So, so yeah, there it is, a couple of fake lilies in because they're quite wrecked plants. And now I've got a couple of little lilies to float about on. But yeah, and uh, the hose is going running through the, um, one of the dechlorinators, you know, like a big inland dechlorinator. So before anyone tells me I'm doing that wrong, I'm sure they will. <laughs> but no, it's all good, so... I mean, them fish are 20 year old, best bit of. So, you know, that it's not like they're having a terrible time. The pond's a bit small for them, but that's why my brother's building a massive one, about double this one for them to go in, and double the actual footprint, and this is only just under four foot deep, whereas he's doing a six or seven footer, so they'll be good shortly. But yeah, so that's it. So you've got your biological, which is fed from a mechanical, another mechanical with sponges and brushes, and then another load of mechanical, and then more mechanical, because Kaya filthy. So anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.